Good morning, BBIG family. We have an exciting week coming up. Um, I want to briefly touch on the catalysts that are going on for BBIG, as well as do an Ortex update and review the chart to show you where we stand. Um, I am gonna go over all time factors that I use the five minute, the four hour, and the daily, because it's important, especially with these catalysts coming up, that you're aware. Additionally, I am going to briefly discuss the Tide dividend, but I'm gonna do a separate video on that since I know so many of you have questions. But please, if you get a chance to watch this before market open, that would be great. Thanks so much, and please remember to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Real quick before we get into the Ortex data, short interest, and uh, what's going on regarding the charts, I just wanna show you guys something else that is extremely bullish for BBIG, um, in particular, AdRiser and Lemotive, especially Lemotive, because there's a bill that US lawmakers unveiled bill barring US data flows to high-risk countries, guys. So they're introducing a bill again, which may, essentially ban TikTok in the US. And that is so bullish for BBIG because Lomotive is the direct competitor and number two to TikTok currently. Um, and honestly, I believe that this is going to present an amazing opportunity for Lomotive to come in as the number one in the US. Currently, India has banned TikTok and everybody uses Lomotive over there, guys. So I want you to keep that in the back of your mind for those of you who are long BBIG, because I really believe this company is so undervalued and this is part of it. Okay, I just wanted to bring that to your attention in case anybody hadn't seen it yet. So let's get into um, the Ortex. We're looking at the Ortex data for BBIG, and as you can see, the short interest increased on Friday. Guys, they continue to keep holding us down, but I believe that, you know, we're gonna get a nice rip soon. The current short interest of the free float is 19.96%, and there's 35.21 million shares sold short. Um, 497.3 thousand shares were returned on Friday, but 981.4 thousand shares were borrowed. So that's an increase of 484.1 thousand shares borrowed to the plus side guys on Friday. So that tells you a little bit about the price action. And also I'd like to pay attention to the cost to borrow average because it is going up. Currently it's 342.23% average with a high of 371.15%. And I don't know, maybe one broker is trying to get customers and is offering 3.14%. Um, but just a reminder that for those that are short BBIG going into Wednesday, if they have not closed out those short positions, they will be having to pay the tied dividend guys, that they, they will be responsible for that. And um, at this point, you gotta ask yourself, at $2.14 or whatever we're at this exact second, is it worth it for them to remain short through the spinoff and have to pay that? I don't know. The cost of borrow is going up. I'm gonna say we're pretty bullish that we may see some covering over the next two days. Um, so let me show you the charts and what I'm seeing there. This is the one year BBIG chart. And as you can see, the 200 day moving average is in the red. The green is my 13, the blue is my 20, and my purple is my 48. And if I were to put the 50, it would be literally just parallel with the 48 SMA. So what I'm looking at here on the one year chart is that I'm looking for the 13 SMA to start curling up guys, because before we can see any big movement, we need to start seeing the smaller moving averages cross over the larger moving averages. So that's what we wanna be watching for. Um, initially, we're probably going to see the one year chart. I mean, I'm sorry, the intraday um, five minute chart make moves and then the smaller four hour chart. As you can see, um, over here, back in after hours, we have the 13 cross back above the 48, which is very bullish. But right now we're running parallel. I expect that um, either in pre-market or prior to market open, that the 13 crosses below the 48, so we drop a little bit. 
and then we continue to have a 1348 crossover into regular hours and start moving up this chain guys there's a lot of catalysts coming for bbig this week as i'm sure you're aware um, and i'm just going to show you real quick the four hour chart because this is the indicator that I want to see happen first based on where we are on the daily but the 13 again is my green and the 48 is my purple and I trade on the 1348 guys although I am long BBIG it's a long-term hold for me so I am not in and out of it but this is an indicator for me um, to tell you what's going to be happening this week but as you can see currently the 13 is sitting below the 48 on the four-hour chart what I want to see happen either you know today or tomorrow is this 13 coming across above the 48 and then I think that will indicate that we're gonna have a big move up so as you know today uh, BBIG is getting um, added to the Russell 2000 and 3000 which is a huge catalyst for us guys because index funds will be buying BBIG because they have to have um, a well-balanced portfolio and a lot of them base it on the Russells so it's very very bullish and obviously we know that the cryptide dividend is coming um, on the 29th and I want to I think is it the 28th or 29th I'm sorry I'm not looking I think it's Wednesday the 29th um, but I want to let everybody know that is currently holding BBIG if you sell it before then without selling it as BBIG V you will lose out on that dividend um, you need to be a holder of BBIG on the X dividend date which um, is going to be Wednesday so if you don't own BBIG and you want to get it and you want to get the dividend I suggest you call your brokers guys and make sure that um, this is still true but from how I'm reading it as long as you buy BBIG and not BBIG V then you will get cryptide and you know I had asked before about the T plus two settlement, and they told me that that's only on the back ends it doesn't matter but technically if it did and you want to play it safe then you would want to buy um, your BBIG by the end of day today um, however please double check with your broker this is not financial advice this is what I was told when I called TD Ameritrade that um, and again remember it's only as good as the agent that you spoke to but as long as you purchase it by the dividend date by the you know 4 p.m. on the 29th then you should get that dividend but guys if I were you I would definitely play it safe and buy it by the end of day today for that T plus 2 settlement um, because who knows what kind of games are gonna play this this ticker has seen a lot so I just want to make you all aware of that and remind you too that we also have a gap fill to the upside so right here you can see around probably around 250 up to 280 279 so I expect that we probably see this get filled this week guys um, I'm very bullish going to this week ahead of us so I hope you all have a great day hopefully this helps I um, would love it if you would take a minute to like and subscribe and that's it thanks so much